hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to see how we can migrate or move our data was table from one environment to another environment with the help of data flows so i'll tell you a bit about data flows data flows are service which is cloud based and which help us to prepare transform and our move data from different sources it could be excel sql sharepoint list to the data was tables so basically data flows license are being tied up with the product which we are going to use it could be power apps power bi dynamics so in our case like we are going to use the power apps one so it uh, we can easily create the data flows within our power apps environment using make.powerapps.com studio and uh, that we are going to see right now so let's start so i i am just into one of my environment that is xmt environment and i have like multiple tables because it's a general scenario where uh, you have uh, tables created into your one of the environment with a lot of data and you don't wish to like repopulate the data using some other mechanism so how to move those uh, tables with the data into the different environment altogether so this is my company's environment now i realize that i have to have one separate dedicated environment for my this application so i wish to like move my this finance table this financial table which is having multiple data into one of my new environment and which is dedicated to this finance only so it's having a lot of data is more than more than 700 records so now what we can do we can actually use the data flows to migrate to transform the data and move the data into the different environment so for that i have i would actually uh, go to my this advanced setting because uh, in the data flow i can create the data sources I mean the data sources from I wish to move the data from various mechanisms so let me just go to this more click on this data flows I'll just show you like what uh, options are there to move the data so I'll just say test so that we can have a look at what various options are there so I have Excel file text access data SharePoint folder SharePoint list and over here we have one option that is O data so this option we are going to use to move the data from one data was environment to the another one so as i said like my table is into my xmd environment so i wish to have my o data service url for this environment and how to get that i need to go to this uh, gear icon go to the advanced setting i need to fetch that o data service url and once it's open i'll just go to the settings under customizations developer resources and over here I can see my service root URL. So I am going to use this as a source to pick the data and then transform the data and create that into a new environment altogether. So I got it. Now I will come back to Power App Studio. I'll just change my this environment to let's say this MCSTR Tech Help environment where I wish to have this my new financial table created. And over here if you don't see data flows by directly then you can click on uh, more you will see data flows over here you can create your new data flow so just remember create this flow into your targeted environment so this is my targeted environment i'll just name that as finance flow from default environment or from my xmt environment and create so while creating it will ask me for the connector i'll say o data connector and in this o data connector i'll specify the url of my source uh, environment where my actual table exists right now and over here in the connections if you don't see uh, this connection option so you can actually like uh, click on this organization account and in this organization account it will ask you to sign in so right now i have already signed in so it will not actually uh, give me any problem but if it's not then you can click on the signing it will give you a pop-up where you can pop up with your account or a service account whatever account you wish to use so let it sign in with my account and then we'll proceed with the next step so once signed in i can click on next and it's loading all my tables from my xmt environment which is separate default environment and i would see my finance table so this is my existing finance table which i wish to move to this my new environment so as soon as i selected it it gave me all the columns 
and I can transform the data if I wish to just uh, move a couple of columns or filter the data based on some criteria. So I'll just uh, pick a few columns so that I can move those columns into my targeted table. So I'll just say select all, deselect this one and then just manually pick the columns which I wish to like uh, move. So I have selected seven or eight columns and you can have multiple uh, there is a power query window where you can specify your own transformation criteria. You can remove the rows, you can keep the rows or you can filter rows based on your criteria if you wish to. And I don't, I just move the data as is. So I just click on next. And now we have the option load setting. So what it does say is uh, I can create a new table altogether with this data into my new environment. So I can just say financial uh, sales data you can prefix with your uh, publisher name whatever publisher name you wish to have so and over here right now I have this delete rows that are no longer exist in the query output so that means like uh, we define our power query it will remove those rows while migrating and when I click on next it will give me the refresh setting option so if any failures then i wish to like send the notification to data flow owner and uh, refresh automatically if you wish to make a connection to publish it at a some frequency level uh, refreshing daily or hourly then you can set this up but right now i just do that as manual and publish it so in publish we have two options publish now publish later publish later means you can actually define to move the data migration based on some weekend or the uh, offset window time but uh, for our case, I'll just do that publish now so that we can see the data into migration in a real time. And if I refresh to my list, I would see my this new data flow connector or the flow item created. So this, this is the one which is actually published in progress. This is the data flow which we just created and it does take a while based on the content of the data. So in publishing, it will take uh, 30 to 40 seconds but after that in refreshing it may take uh, 5 to 10 minutes based on the volume of data you are moving so let's wait for that so we can see that uh, the status is published now and it has started refreshing it refreshing means it has started creating that uh, table schema and as well as started moving the data and if i go to my this environment again like i am on that environment itself if i go to the tables and i would just start searching my this finance table so this is the table which it just created if i click on that and go inside so right now i just see the schema created and i have this uh, multiple columns so i can just take a couple more so that i can see data and i'll just say save so right now it's just blank because our flow is still in progress if i just go back to data flows and Check the status is still in progress that means it has started moving the records and we have to wait uh, two to five minutes to have to see those records so let's click there and wait now we have this data migrated so as i only selected a couple of columns so it has started showing me that so we are able to successfully move our table from one environment to another environment using data flow using old data connector but with data flows you have multiple other options as well to move the to move the data from and if i click on new data flow and just say that test and go again to the all the connectors just to showcase if i let's say click on the sharepoint list i'll just find out sharepoint online list I can specify site URL connection so I can just pick the connection from my SharePoint site and I can move any of the SharePoint list using this data or uh, data flow connector again if I click on next I would be seeing all the available list within this my site and again like uh, I can specify to load to a new table or load to the existing table based on my requirement and as well as I can transform the data using power queries within my this power data flow uh, itself.
so these are my all SharePoint lists. So the intent of video was just to like uh, tell you how you can migrate the data tables from one environment to another environment and how what different connectors you can use using data flow. So that is it for today. I hope like it would be beneficial for you. It would help you out for future migrations. So that's it. Thank you.